what is going on guys it's Kavir here and as you just saw from that beautiful design we will be doing a turret tower design in Atlas you may be saying right now well Goofy there's no turrets in Atlas well you may be right I mean you could say the puckles are kinda like turrets but to be honest there isn't a set turret for Atlas but let's just say for our company we were having a lot of trouble with people running into our harbor jumping on our boats and shit and some of the things like we just had to figure out a way to um well, this is awkward figure out a way out to stop that in a nice compact manner and something that actually did it that wasn't just straight puckles or just straight swivels so we found or let's say i came up with a design that is actually really nice super compact and it takes up a 360 degrees angle so you, you can see everything all right, and let's get into the um, specifications of this, okay? So this design will take one foundation, four roofs, 16 walls, two ceilings, eight swivel guns, eight MPCs to man each swivel, one resource box for the gold, and however much gold you can spare to put in to keep the uh, MPCs running and one ammo box for the grape shot for the swivels all right so for the build you want to start off with one foundation and then you want to put your half walls along the sides now you can do it however you feel comfortable but i kind of like to do it like this so you can walk in it but then you're going to put in your um railings that escaped me for some reason and then you'll place in your roofs. Actually, what I like to do for these, just looks nicer, is place ramps along here, just like so. It looks a little nicer. It's just more um, aesthetically appealing, to say. Um, you can put this here. It won't be much of a big deal. Put that here. Put this here, and then you'll place the ramp, because um, you can still access everything from the outside you don't really have to worry about it okay and then you'll place your roof up top and there's kind of what it looks like now the thing I forgot to mention in the resource list is the signs that you'll be placing um, let me grab some signs hopefully there's some in here <laughs> yeah awesome so all right no but you'll be placing signs here and that's kind of like the little secret to this because we were dealing with people sniping the um, the NPCs off and that was kind of our issue but if you have the signs kind of mitigates that issue so you'll be placing your swivels just like so and all the NPCs will cramp themselves inside here I'll spawn those in after the builds over but I'll, yeah they'll all cramp inside each other and when you place the signs you'll armor them up and stuff just in case one of the signs does break from like a snake or whatever but you can fix that by turning them all on um, attack all targets but the way this works is you take your sign and you see how on the edge of the signs they have the little crooked part, the little um, circle-ish, and it kind of matches that up with the edge of the swivel, okay? So you kind of place it just like, we'll go like right here, okay? And then you'll do the same thing at the bottom, you'll just line it up and you'll place it. And you do the same thing on the other side as well, where you'll just line it up and place it. And you do it up top, and you get this nice little hole the swivel can sit through. And you can't shoot the person unless you shoot through the little tiny gap. But to be honest, if they're that close to see through that gap, then they're already in. Like, the swivels are out of ammo or whatever. Because you won't even be able to get close to this build if you made it properly. Yep, you want to do, there's four signs on each side, and um, there's a few modifications, like, so the list I said at the beginning of the video, the resources, or the um, the items that were required to make this, are kind of just the bare minimum, where you wouldn't place the signs or whatever, and that's still a good, like, turret tower box thing, but it's not the invincible one that I'm building now. But also, there's going to be extra, like, for flare and for more defense, you can add more ceilings and I'll show you that soon but it will be kind of um half ceilings um, along right here because that kind of stops grenades and stuff it's it's weird but it works but 
You also want to put roof corners here so people can't run under these. So they're kind of forced to be up here. But now you may be saying, I said 360 degrees defense. Well, these can't come over and shoot you when you're here. I understand that. That's why there's the second floor. You can have a 180 defense with this, but if you have your second floor, that's where you get the 360. And what I was saying about the roofs is placing these here. These actually do wonders. They help out a little bit, and they kind of defend the guys up top from extra fire. Well, this is awkward. You can make that jump. I'm just lazy. <laughs> All right. No. Yikes, man. Alright, but yeah, so you do the same exact thing you did down below up top. So you'll place those four there, and then you'll place your your halves, just like... Oh Alright, I'm flying to this. <laughs> Alright, so you'll place your, your halves here, and you'll place the railings. And then of course you'll place the ceiling on top. I'm going to go ahead and place these swivels down, so you'll place one here. Or, and these don't go up here, I'm sorry. Uh, don't do that. These up top go in the corners, okay? So you place one here, you'll place one here, here, and here. And that's where you get your 360 degree coverage. So you'll place that up top, and then you'll work with your signs. So the same thing works for the top as the bottom. So you can see when you place these here, the kind of edge goes right there and kind of makes gap for it. So it's it works perfectly. So you do that, and then you drop this right here. And look at that, you got a perfect hole. This one's even tighter than the, <laughs> Jesus. This one's <laughs> tighter than the one below. It sounds so bad, but yeah, that's how it works. Um, of course, you'll be able to shoot through this gap here. But as I said, if you're that close anyway, you're most likely um, already gonna shoot them. You're already too close if you catch my drift there. If you're able to shoot them and aim that well, you're too close to the thing and you'll be dead unless it's out of ammo. And yeah. But yep, you just want to place all. There's, I believe it's, what? There's four on each side. So it would be about eight, 16, 32 signs in total for the complete build. Um, it's definitely very sign heavy and as you can see at the top it says um, that you're at a lot of maximum of 150 signs um, if you're building a whole bunch of these try to try to spread them out I mean you can still build like four or five six of them without even hitting that cap so you'll be fine but if you're gonna build like a hundred of them right next to each other then that might be an issue for the sign cap but other than that you're pretty much gonna be fine it shouldn't be a big deal but once you have the whole thing done it's gonna look something like this a full design, two stories high, 360 degree coverage. Now you want to place the NPCs in. I've gone ahead and spawned all these in, so we'll place them all on. You don't even have to go near the place. You just put them all on, like so. Um, I'll ghost inside and show you what it looks like then, but yeah, it should place all of them on them. And you can't see them at all. I mean, maybe here you can see, but as I said, if you get this close to the tower, you should already be dead. You should have been shot by now, so you should be fine. Like there's little gaps here and whatnot, but if I go cheat ghost real quick, we'll go into the bottom, and this is what it will look like. Of course, you're gonna want to here. Let me get this out the way. You're gonna want to armor up your NPCs, so you want these all armored, but they'll also like. So even if they do get broken in and people are rushing them, the thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna shoot one, but it, most likely if they go to shoot again they'll shoot someone else because their arms and shoulders and everything are mangled, right? And it works the same way up here. This is a little different. Um, this is more spread out because these are in the corners, so there's a space in between. And here you can put your ammo box if you feel like it, but to be honest, I don't think you should have your ammo box in here. Um, if you're gonna have like four of these around a central area, you're gonna wanna put your ammo box in something here. So I didn't grab an ammo box, right? All right, but so you're going to have your ammo box and your resource box. Usually you're going to want to keep those together. So let's grab that and a resource box. You'll also probably need a food larder, but that's up to you. If you want to manly feed your uh, NPCs or not, that's on you. But you want to place your resource box, and this will have the gold in it for the um, NPCs. Make sure they stay alive or stay compliant. 
I guess is the word, so they don't mutiny. Um, your ammo box, you want to, of course, put the grape shot in here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Is there any grape shot in here? Please don't make me cut. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so we'll grab the grape shot, and we'll put it in here. So the NPCs are all locked and loaded and ready to go. And then, of course, you'll put your food in your food larder or your mess table, whatever you want to call it, so your NPCs don't starve to death. Now we're going to put this into action. Um, of course, you want to do this before you put the things, but um, this is depending on what you want, but I'm going to put this on all targets just to do a, um, a test and show you how this works. But of course, usually you don't want your things on all targets because you're targeting the players that are coming to break into your harbor and whatnot. See, that one's already targeting. And yep, see, it's that's dead. Oh, and so is that seagull. Like, it's this tower, guys is insane all right so let's get the top ones and just saying those ones that just shot were only on the bottom floor as you can see every time i move these these are all turning they're targeting the fish and stuff it's crazy like this tower is actually insane but see these are targeting the seagulls so if you do have tomorrow targets yeah so it shoots stuff out the sky as well so if you have gliders coming into your boats and you have this in the middle of your bay or whatnot oh that glider's out the air is dead right so like as you can see here too this will go through the walls through the root or through the um signs and still shoot regardless so if we go hmm, i'll spawn in a no i won't spawn and i'll try to now uh, you know you guys have seen the point the point is this shoots 360 degrees it's insane um this is super cheap to build it's not very cost um costly but it does cost a lot of npcs eight npcs for one tower is kind of insane but it'll do the trick especially if you're trying to defend something so precious to you like you have your mythical galleon you put a few of these around your galleon and no one's going to touch your galleon i mean i'd say that's worth it but that's up to you if you guys did enjoy the video please feel free to leave a like comment what you guys want to see in the or what you guys want to see in the next video um, I'm open to all opinions and I'll make some designs up if you guys want to see something in particular. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more v videos like this and also for some of the videos that I've posted previously, which you can check out there on my channel. But those range from kill montages to the Kraken Bowl that just happened and whatnot. And trolley montages that people think are real. But um, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.